He's the one-handed boy who inspired us all, a story we brought you last year as he played alongside a world-renowned violinist who was just like him. And tonight, the adventures of Calvin continue, this time skating alongside a Paralympian. News A's Jacqueline Francis takes us there. Hitting the ice for his next adventure, five-year-old Kelvin's hockey coach is a lot like him. His last ten is um, right, and my last ten is left. He goes by Hockey Todd. I'm called Hockey Todd because I'm a former Paralympian, a world silver medalist in hockey, and I started my story out at six years old. That's when he started playing organized sports. A few years after losing part of his arm, becoming an amputee. When I went to school. And I told all the kids I want to be a hockey player. They said, oh, no, you can't play hockey. You only have one arm. It didn't stop him, just like it isn't stopping Kelvin. Right, she got it. Who was born with a limb difference. Working with Hockey Todd on how to grip the stick. His arm goes into the socket. So the residual part of the limb plugs into the socket. The socket fastens to the stick. And uh, magic happens. Right? Students at West Michigan Aviation Academy created the prosthetic yeah, just for time. Kelvin. Really cool to see him develop. Like beforehand, he just had his hockey stick like just wrapped around right here, and he hated it. Shoot! Score! And so it's really nice to see like we it made this thing for him, and now he's actually loving the things that he does. For Hockey Todd, it's important to be a role model for kids like Kelvin. <laughs> something he didn't have growing up. The neatest thing about reaching a child at his age is if you uh, nourish that desire and you provide encouragement as opposed to discouragement, anything is possible. And you see that with him. He's incredible. There you go, Keegan. You get a go. <laughs> when asked what he'll tackle next. Anything you want to do next? Any other sport? Gymnastics and soccer, which I'm already signed up for. Reporting in Grand Rapids, Jacqueline Francis, News 8.